Hello, and welcome to the fifth installment of our Chameleon 20 series. Today, we're going to take a look at opening a file. So there are two ways to do that, and we're going to look at both of those in this video. So the first way is from the editor app. So if I'm not already focused on my editor app, I can be by pressing the home button on the front of the unit. And there's see my editor and I'm going to either press a cursor routing key or the dot eight. Either one will open that. And as you might remember from before, you have a couple of options. You have create file and I'm going to press the next button, the next thumb key to move forward. And then we have open file. I want to open a file, so I'm going to press enter or a cursor routing key, kind of whatever. And it put me focused on the file Amy, which is the one I created in the last video. And if you read it, it says Amy and then txt, dot txt. And remember, we talked about how once you edit or make changes to a file, it saves as a txt file. So if I want to open that, I would just hit um, enter or cursor routing key, but I want to see what my other options look like. So I'm going to go forward using the previous or th next thumb key. I'm going to use the next thumb key here. And the next uh, thing says go to parent. And we can talk about that in a minute, but I'm going to go forward again. And there's another folder here called books. I'm going to go forward again. Another one called um, Oh, online books. And then we cycle back here to where it says Amy. Um, I can open it from here if I want. Let's go to that go to parent and we'll talk a little bit about what that means. So I'm going to hit that next button again, next thumb key. And here it says go to parent. If I press enter on this, on this file, I'm going to go to the folder. I'm sorry, it's a folder. I'm going to go to the folder that contains all of my files. So the folder in this case that contains all of the things that I read, including Amy, Bookshelf, and Online Bookshelf, um, or Online Books and Books, is the storage folder. The storage folder is the name for the folder, uh, or the area, actually, of your chameleon that's the internal storage. That means that it's not on an SD card, it's not removable, you, you can't, um, uh, get it off of the device in a, on a removable storage uh, device, at least not from here. You can do that, but you can't do it from here. So if I want to um, go to the next option here, I'm going to use my next thumb key. And you'll notice it gives me an error sound, that little beep that reminds you, hey, you know what, something's wrong here. And it's because I don't have an SD card or external storage inserted. If I did, it would give me that as the next option and I would be able to open it, but it does not. So I'm going to reopen that storage folder and it brings me back to where I was before. It puts my focus on the Amy file. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the Amy file right now and press by pressing enter. So it's going to put me back in the space that I left off in the file when I closed it. So I'm just gonna hit a space to make sure that's where I am. And it inserted the space after, and remember the end of that file has that funny sort of a closing bracket. So that's where it kind of puts you. So if I wanted to make edits, I would just keep going along happily, merrily, blah, blah, blah. And when I'm done, we can do those two save commands. If you will recall, I can do a space S to save it or a, I believe it's a backspace S to save it as something else. So I'm just going to do a space S and it says saved across the uh, Braille display. It gives me that message and then it brings me back into my file. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit that file with a space, the letter E, and it's not going to give me a prompt to save it because I don't, I don't need to um, because I had just saved it. When that happens, I get into the editor um, choices again. I can create a file, open a file, all of that. It brings you right back to this area. There's another method that we're going to look at for opening a file, and that, it, that necessitates that we get out of the editor. So I'm going to press my next thumb key, 
open, nope, nope, nope. I want to close. And here I am on the close button and I'm going to press a cursor routed key or my dot eight, whichever one I want. And I'm right back in my editor in the main menu area. Now, the second method that we're going to talk about involves using the file manager. So there are a couple of ways I can get to the file manager. I can use my previous and next thumb keys to navigate there, or I can just press F. I'm gonna do that second thing because it's faster. And it says, yep, file manager. And I can, again, enter a cursor routing key. It doesn't matter which. And it sticks me in this main area of the, the storage folder. And again, we see my, my file that I created, amy.txt. I'm going to move forward with my next thumb key and see what it tells me. Here I have uh, the back button. I can move back if I want. And I'm gonna, if I hit the next thumb key, I go mo moving to the books folder, online books. And then here's my file again. Now, it's interesting. So if I'm going to go to my next thumb key again to go to that back button and activate it, and here's the storage folder again, just like we saw before. So if you are in the file manager, it does not call it go to parent. It calls it back. And that's kind of an interesting difference. Um, if you're in the editor um, program and, and open a file it, it, and you want to go to the file that contains the folder that contains the file you're in, you go to parent. If you are in the file manager area, you uh, and you want to go to the containing folder, you activate that back button there. So that's kind of interesting. I thought that was worth looking at for opening a file. And I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I would want to think that you would like to be practicing and kind of just kind of get the feel of your device, open, create different files, and just kind of experiment with it. We're gonna talk about managing our files in the next video. So thanks and have a great day.